Welcome to Tech Reserves Dahmer. In this video, we are going to learn how to create PostgreSQL instance on GCP with private IP. After that, we will be creating a VM and then install the PostgreSQL client on it. And then finally, we'll be connecting from the VM to the PostgreSQL instance by using the private IP. Let's go ahead and create the PostgreSQL instance first. Here, I'm in console.cloud.google.com and I'm on dashboard. So click right here. It's call navigation menu and then you're gonna go to SQL. Once you click there then you're gonna see there are different type of instances that you can create. You will be able to create MySQL, Postgres and the SQL Server. Here we are going for Postgres. There are many different type of versions available for Postgres. So here we will be selecting Postgres 14. Here now let uh, me give the name for our instance and uh, let's call this Postgres uh, SQL instance. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and provide the password for our user called the Postgres. Um, here I will be providing the password, and uh, then uh, we will be. Uh, let me see what happened here. Okay, uh, use lower cases. Um, so. SQL that should do it okay great so here you can select production or development I'm gonna go with production but I'm not gonna really use for production I'm using for demo purposes um, just if you click here there are different type of versions available and uh, we are going with this Postgres 14 now here I'm gonna go for region and then for single zone now if I go further and uh, click on the configuration here and uh, I'm gonna go and uh, select the machine type uh, that's a small so I'm gonna go with custom instead of going for vCPUs and 26 GB RAM now I will go with the storage and uh, SSD is fine and we will have 10 GB only in the connection uh, that's very very important uh, instead of using public IP we will be using private IP so click on private IP, assign an internal Google host VPC IP address, um, requires additional APIs and permissions, uh, can't be disabled once enabled. Uh, and now you are going to select uh, the network. Uh, here we will select uh, default. Uh, now uh, there are a couple of uh, questions. Uh, the very first time if you are ending up here and you never use default uh, It I will ask you to create the connection uh, So to create the access connection it will ask you hey provide give me the list of the IP You would like to use you know you want to choose that and all that I went with the default values um, after I enabled uh, that API and also let the IP selection went to the uh, just default uh, it created that uh, uh, access the connection for us uh, and the uh, private services uh, access connection for the network default has been successfully created so this is the message you see there now if you want to see my uh, all those steps uh, I will you know uh, attach that video to it it was in the uh, when I was creating SQL Server instance with the private uh, IPs. So you can learn about SQL Server as well if you want to. Now that's uh, nothing fancy really really here there. You will just go with the default value and you will be fine. So now next step is that we are going to go ahead and create an instance. Meanwhile our instance is being created. I'm going to go ahead and create the VM and install the Postgres client. You see right there as of now we are not seeing any private IV or anything like here. Uh, now it's uh, in the under process of uh, creating them. Um, let's uh, search for VM here and you can see that the VM instances or compute engine is there. You can also select on the navigation menu here and then go to the compute engine and then select a VM instances. So here we will click on create instance. And I'm gonna go with the default uh, most of the uh, items here or values uh, and uh, it's coming back and uh, the name of the instance is the instance dash one that's fine I don't uh, really have any concern with that and region is the US central one Iowa the zone is US central one uh, dash a that's fine with me and I will be paying $25 uh, almost per month for this uh, VM I'm gonna go with the series e2 if you are looking for uh, some more CPU and memory for this uh, uh, VM you can go ahead and change it but uh, in my case I'm just fine with this uh, uh, 
um, configuration now. Now, if we go further down here in the boot disk, uh, you can see that uh, this uh, Debian uh, GNU Linux Lemon uh, that's the uh, image it is going to use to create our uh, inst uh, VM. Uh. Now, I will leave everything as it is, and I'm going to go ahead and create. Uh, our instance is uh, created or our VM is created uh, right here and uh, now if you go, will scroll on the right side uh, under the network you see default uh, so it's using default network uh, and remember when we were creating the Postgres instance uh, we also use the default uh, for the network uh, the IP internal IP is the 10.128.0.6 and external IP is this one now now I'm gonna go SSH to this uh, uh, VM let's click SSH Okay, let's say I try this um, and it might ask me my username and all that. So I'm going to select my username here and then uh, I'm going to hit next uh, here and uh, or continue and uh, we should be all good. Okay, so we are uh, connected to our uh, VM right now and uh, what we need to do, we need to run some statements uh, to install our uh, uh, Postgres uh, client. Uh, I already have uh, that added into the document here and uh, let me find here. Okay, here are uh, the couple of statements uh, or commands uh, those I need to run uh, to install our P PSQL uh, client, uh, Postgres client. So first of all is sudo apt get update. So I'm gonna go ahead and run that one. And then uh, once we are updated, uh, then we will run the next uh, command. Uh, so sudo apt get install Postgres client. Um, so I'm gonna copy and just paste it there and we should be good. Now it has installed successfully. Yes, I want to install. So our client is installed and uh, now let me After back. installing the Postgres client, uh, what we will do, we will use uh, this statement to connect to the Postgres database um, or instance. Uh, here you will say PSQL host and then uh, provide the private IP and here is the port and then SSL mode is disabled and then what we will do we'll provide the database name is equal to Postgres um, this is a system database created when we install the Postgres uh, instance uh, and our user is Postgres uh, and uh, what we are gonna do uh, here is the IP I took from the our instance uh, so if I will go back uh, to our SQL instance uh, uh, if you guys remember that's the IP we have this private IP so that's what uh, is there see right there that's the IP now after changing that IP here uh, you know what we have we are going to copy and that's the IP I play, replaced or uh, you know put it there and now I should be good to go here and paste uh, this is command uh, hit uh, enter and it is asking us uh, for password um, I'm going to provide the password uh. Now it's connected with the Postgres and uh, we can uh, do backslash L to list uh, all the databases. Uh, so it's not uh, some uh, feature might not work. Um, okay, so uh, what uh, features work? So, so we can create database test. Okay, database is created and here Okay, backslash L is not working. Huh? So use test uh, and then uh, uh, use uh, test is uh, USC test. So, oh, sorry, there is no use actually. So backslash C test, uh, change database to test. Uh, and then uh, what we are doing here, uh, mm -hmm. warning is PSQL major version 13 and uh, server version 14. Uh, uh, some uh, PS equal might not work okay that's one of the thing you are now connected to the database test as so what we can do we can create a table and a test and I can call it ID integer and uh, we should be good here table created insert into test values and we inserted value 100 and now I can select a start from test okay so it is working just uh, maybe my uh, Postgres uh, SQL statements are not uh, correct, some of them, because I'm not really expert, honestly, in uh, writing uh, Postgres uh, statements. Uh. So now uh, we should be good here. And uh, I believe if we will do backslash LT that uh, or DT, something like that, that will give us uh, all the list of the table. Yeah, 
backslash dt so that will give us the, the list of the tables uh, so it is working uh, just uh, if you go back here on your uh, uh, portal and uh, then uh, what we can do we can go to the instance and take a look if our test database has been created successfully so we can go to the databases here and the test is uh, right there so we are all good so you learn how to create you create the postgres uh, instance with the private ip then how to create the vm and then how to install uh, the client uh, by using uh, these uh, two statements there and then uh, how to connect uh, to the postgres instance by using the private ip and also create the database and the table and uh, select some data i will put this uh, uh, this information in the description so you can use it and uh, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.